Hello Wrap Candy members, this is Sonia and I'm going to be showing you how I take an overlay and change it to different colors so that I can add a, another background to it. I'm going to be using these overlays that I got from Catherine Estry. They do come in PNG format, but the problem is they're all black and I would like them to be different colors. So what I did is after I purchased these from her site, I resized them to 600 by 600. It just works better in the program I'm going to be using. Today I'm going to use Inkscape, which is a free software program that you can download off the internet. And that's how I change all of my overlays so that I can actually make my own backgrounds. I would use Photoshop, but I am not familiar with the program, so therefore I've been using Inkscape off and on for the past six and seven years. These all, this uh, program also makes great vectors to use with vinyl and your Cricut machine if you happen to have one. So what I'm going to do is I've opened up my Inkscape program and I'm going to go over here to the file and down to import. And then I'm going to go ahead and find my um, overlay and I'm going to use A today and I'm just going to import it in here. And there it is. Now I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger, but in order to keep the actual dimensions, I want to lock the page first. So you look at this little padlock up here, and when you click on it, it locks so that when I actually pull out on this image, it keeps the 600 by 600 shape. And then I'm just going to go ahead and center it a little bit. And then I'm going to go up to path. Make sure that your image is selected with the arrows around it. Go up here to path and go down to trace bitmap and now you're going to see this new box come up all I do is I change the colors I go down to three on each one because the way that Inkscape works is it uses the black along with the white and a gray scale so that's three colors right there so I'm gonna scan three and colors is gonna be three I'm gonna make it gray and I'm gonna uncheck the smooth box and then I'm just going to hit update. Now you're going to see the new image come up over here. When I click OK, it changes a little bit. So then I can go ahead and exit out of this trace bitmap box. And because there's a new layer or a vector, I want to move it over to the side so I can get rid of the original. So I'm just going to click on the original, make sure that all of the uh, arrows are around it, and then I'm just going to delete it. And then I'm going to go ahead and move this over so I can work with it. And I'm going to go up here to Object and down to Ungroup. So that now I have the black, the gray scale, which I delete, and the white, which I also delete because I'm only working with the black. So now I can choose any of the colors from down here at the bottom of my screen. And this is not all of them. If you'll keep watching, I'm just going to keep arrowing over. There are so many different colors in Inkscape. It is ridiculous. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick a green. And there we have it. And now I'm going to click off of it. I've changed it to green. Now this is going to be a transparency, but I've got to be able to save it. And the only way to save it, to use it in Wrap Candy using Inkscape, is to go up to file down to export bitmap and then I'm going to browse for my desktop because I like sending everything to my desktop that I'm working with I can always re label it later and put it in its own folder so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put green a as my file name and I'm going to save and then you also have to export so I'm gonna click on export now I'm going to close out and I'm just going to minimize my Inkscape program. So now we have it over here and I'll just double click on it. There it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up my Wrap Candy program and I've actually made my size 6.0 by 6.0 and I'm going to go ahead and make a background that will actually complement the green A overlay. So I'm going to go ahead and, and make my box change my color and I think I want to use this light green here now you can also use any color that you snag so don't forget that once I've made that I'm gonna go ahead and go to my add image 
I'm going to find the A that I was working with that's on my desktop. And remember, it's been colored green. Double click on it and just bring it in. And now I can resize it down to the page that I want or the size that I want, sorry. And once I've got it where I want it, which is about right there, I'm going to save as image, JPEG. Quality is going to be high. Resolution is the default. And hit OK. And then I'm just going to put green A with mint. And hit save. So now when you look on the desktop, here is your new page. Just like that. It's that easy. Uh, use this tutorial for making any overlays if you don't have the Photoshop program. I know a lot of Wrap Candy members are using it. I have never been able to get around it. I don't understand it. And so I thought I'd show you this working along with Wrap Candy so you can make your own backgrounds with overlays. So pick any color that you want in the Inkscape program. Like I said, the colors are endless. Um, and if I ever find out a way to bring in my own colors to this Inkscape program, I will also be making a tutorial for that. For now, I hope you enjoyed watching and have a great one.